Luke Burbank gets the last word this morning, the last three words to be precise. This Wednesday is Valentine's Day, that special time once a year when a large portion of the U.S. population goes into complete panic, trying to figure out how to show their special someone that they do in fact love them and that they did not in fact just dig a card out of the back of the glove compartment on the way over. Even though happy holidays from your friends at Les Schwab Tires has clearly been crossed out and replaced with I love you. I love you. Three simple words that can change the course of someone's entire day, but they can also be surprisingly hard to utter. Love ya, lots of love, and the now infamous I love you man, just don't convey the same feeling. There's a layer of self-preservation to them, of leaving a side door slightly ajar in case you don't get the response you're looking for. Very few words leave the person uttering them more vulnerable than I love you. I've been thinking about these words a lot lately after reading an amazing piece in the Washington Post wherein the writer pointed out the way the Price is Right host, Drew Carey, ends every broadcast by looking directly into the camera and saying, I love you. 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 See you next time. Bye. These days, our lives, both personal and professional, tend to occur at a further and further distance, leading Americans to report feeling more isolated than ever before. We are a nation of people desperately in need of knowing somebody out there loves us. So this week, Whatever elaborate romantic gestures you get up to or don't get up to, that's a whole other commentary, maybe take a moment to tell someone who needs to hear it, I love you. It costs you nothing and could mean everything to them. Maybe even more than a card that you definitely did not dig out of the back of the glove compartment on the way over.